All right, so we have another potential scenario for the Pac-12. It says, don't be shocked if the Pac-4 at this point raids the American Athletic Conference first to shore up six to eight new members with an Apple TV deal and then saying GK is not going down with a fight. So to summarize this, it seems like the Pac-12 commissioner is just pissed off and, and he's looking to you know help these four teams any way possible. That doesn't square with the early post about GK finding the four leftovers, good places to land. I don't see Cal or Stanford hanging out with Sacramento State. Oh, they wouldn't have to hang out with Sacramento State if they if they joined teams in the American, some type of merger. Uh, that would be an okay conference. I, I feel really bad for the American if this happens, you know. I mean, maybe they'll make more money, but that would kill that conference that's already gotten destroyed by conference realignment indirectly with the Big 12 losing Texas and Oklahoma and then sniping off. I mean, you lose Cincinnati, you, you lose UCF. That is a tough pill to swallow. Rebuilding the pack is absolutely finding them a landing spot. It could be the most lucrative option available if the only other option is being absorbed by the Mountain West Conference. I think the dynamic right now is a little weird because we would expect both Oregon State and Washington State to go to the Mountain West in an event like this. Stanford becomes independent. We really don't know what happens to Cal. I think that Kind of people are talking about Cal also joining the Mountain West Conference. But yeah, maybe this could happen almost inconceivably. The Mountain West may find itself fighting to stay alive. As I'm hearing, a plan is being hatched to dissolve the conference, negotiating buyouts with over half of their schools being lured to revive the pack. The PAC brand, A5 status, and NCAA credits have still a lot of value. So it seems like whatever's left of this conference is trying to use its value as a former group of five as leverage. It's like someone that's about to die, but they're technically they're still alive. That's what it seems like is going on here with whatever. I mean, I, you don't even know what to call them, the PAC-4. I'm just going to still call them the PAC-12. Uh, it's very possible a simple merger happens, but I'm hearing Stanford Cal want a streamlined conference devoid of lower tier. If the Mountain West dissolves, then look for the American Conference to get raided of a few of their teams to complete the quote-unquote reformed Pac-12. Would they get back up to 12 teams? Would they get to 14? You can see the Pac-West here. Some speculation going around. This looks like it would just be a merger with the Mountain West, I'm sure. Uh, you know, they would like that. And then this is another potential scenario. It's the four Pac-12 teams. This doesn't really make much sense. It, it, this is like a worse version of the Big Ten. Well, it's the Big Ten, but it's South, and, and it's a merger with the American Conference there. You have to wonder what teams could potentially be involved in this conference. You can't really call it a super conference, but I would assume they would be looking at the four Pac-12 schools, possibly the American and the Mountain West. If you take all the best 14 or 16 teams from those three conferences. I mean, we are going all over the place at this point, but every conference is doing this. The big boys are doing this. Would it make sense for a group of five plus the pack four to try and form their own super conference and then say, look, you know, this is a conference to where if you go undefeated, you lose one game and it's a 12 team playoff, you can get in very easily. It is a solid conference. I think it's very important. You know, Boise State, San Diego State, you know, who else would I add? An SMU type, maybe a Tulane, although, you know, I know last year they were good. Other than that, it's been a little rough. South Florida's getting a new stadium. There's some different teams you could look at here, but it's just how much fat is there going to be in this conference? Because not all these teams are going to be all that great. But you can still at least get seven or eight solid teams, I feel like, if you really went out and plucked every good team 
from the American Conference and from the Mountain West Conference. They're saying Mountain West might indirectly dissolve, which is just crazy. I did a video on the Mountain West and I was like, this is going to be great for them. They're going to get Washington State and Oregon State. And I still think that's probably the most likely scenario. But you know when these things come out and we get a new board, because we basically just got a brand new board when all the things happened a few days ago. Now you have other conferences that have to do things, and now the speculation begins. The original thought is the Mountain West will be fine, but who really knows? This gives you some perspective on the Mountain West. If they were to add four schools, the basketball teams are, are not very good. Stanford, Oregon State, Cal, and Washington State, in terms of comparing them to the other ones, I don't think Stanford is going to the Mountain West. I really don't think anyone does. And then this is an interesting breakdown here. Great breakdown of the Apple offer terms. Not as bad as first thought. 25 million base pay. So I had thought it was 20. That's a that's a increase by 5 million. At 1.7 million subscribers, Pac-12 would match the 31.7 million the Big 12 is averaging. At 5 million subscribers, Pac-12 schools would receive about 50 million annually. So you can really understand why it was actually hard for these teams to leave. Because I thought this was a much worse deal. Now, there's also the dynamic of these teams do not want to be on streaming. They do not want to play Saturday football on Apple TV. It is horrible. Even if you want to make the argument they would get to 1 million subscribers, 1.7, they would make more than the Big 12. Arizona, Colorado, why would you leave? You know, you can certainly understand why Oregon and Washington would, but even they're getting a lesser amount at the beginning, the first few years in the Big 10, and then it increases every year after that. But this is just one of those things where it's a combination, it's Apple TV, Maybe if Apple offered them 50 million, you know, they would do it. But at 25 million, it's just really not worth it. it, it you're just going to get a lack of visibility and it's going to hurt your brand overall, according to people familiar with the negotiations between the Pac-12 conference and Apple TV. There was one major reason why the conference members were so reluctant to agree to an incentive-laden contract with streaming-only network. Apple TV's proposal included a provision that required the Pac-12 schools to cover the cost of broadcasting the games. Not only would the Pac-12 schools make considerably less money, well, I mean, actually, they would not make considerably less if that deal is correct. If you're talking about $25 million plus add-ons, plus maybe you getting it slightly higher in terms of exposure if ESPN and Fox wanted to do kind of a deal together. That's actually not the worst deal in terms of money. It would not be, cons well, it, it would certainly be less. I think the, the big issue is the visibility being on Apple TV. Um, and, and also, you also have to look at this contract and realize what I just read. The Apple TV is making these schools cover the cost of broadcasting their games and then the article also speculated on Stanford and Cal. It said Stanford very likely has two options. It's some type of merger. Now, whether that's forming some type of super conference group of five, I think Stanford would be open to that as long as you took the best group of five teams left remaining. I mean, they've kind of already been picked over by the Big 12, but there are still some good ones. They would be open to that. Or the other option at this point for Stanford is becoming an independent. I don't see them going to the Mountain West. You know, the idea of four schools joining the Mountain West just doesn't seem realistic. It could happen, but I don't see Stanford going there. I had read somewhere that Stanford was contacting the Big Ten and the theory is that maybe Stanford is like, we know the Big Ten's not staying at 18 teams. They're going to at least get to 20. Maybe they end up getting to 24 in the long run. We can just be an independent for two or three years, have no crazy contracts, get out of it whenever we want. And boom, when the Big Ten is ready, we're ready to join. We've got crazy academics. Yes, our football program is bad right now. But we were good six or seven years ago. We won a Rose Bowl with McCaffrey, David Shaw. That's what they could be saying. They could be saying patience is key. Let's not bind ourselves to a bad conference uh, or, or maybe a lower conference because it would be kind of weird to see Stanford in the Mountain West. And then when it comes to Cal, it's, it's a little bit harder. It's doubtful Cal wants to go the path 
of the University of Chicago, which famously dropped its successful football program in 1939. It was probably the dumbest decision the school has ever made. Yeah, I, I mean, that's kind of a weird thing, but, but that's kind of the speculation right now on Cal. I think Cal is just going to join wherever Oregon State and Washington State go. It seems like there's no great path for them. They could go independent, I guess, but that would feel weird. Either way, this is all just speculation at this point. And here's an interesting combination. This also includes UConn. That's a weird logo when they do UConn. It looks like Columbia, but no, that is UConn in the far uh, upper northeast, and, and that could be a potential super conference. You've got UNLV. You've got Fresno State, who's getting a massive stadium renovation. San Diego State, of course, would be involved. Boy, San Diego State is very lucky that they were able to get back into the Mountain West. They tried joining the Pac-12, but they would have had to pay $17 million. They tried joining a conference that doesn't exist anymore at this point. I wonder what would have happened if they would have joined. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Colorado State, UTSA, SMU, Rice, Tulane, South Florida. So you get some Florida action. They're getting a new stadium. Memphis, Temple. Boy, Temp they, they used a weird logo for Temple. That's like a, looks like an Ivy League school, but Either way, it's an interesting thought. It's the idea of saying, all right, we at least at this point, when we look at the group of five landscape, there's four former Power Five teams with, you know, Stanford and Cal being very good academically. Oregon State, kind of an interesting team, kind of on the come up a little bit. We'll see, but they've gotten some guys in the portal. Washington State's had their fair share of good years. They've got a very good environment. Why don't we utilize that if we're the group of five to take the best teams possible and get the best deal? I mean, obviously, the, the TV deal that they get, is it's just not going to be very good. There's just no great teams in this league, but it does make sense for them to at least try or explore this. This is really Stanford's one chance to remain in a conference, and you would obviously want the ability to get out of the conference at any point without paying a buyout. Or, or being latched to it if you are Stanford. Because I do think Stanford thinks they're probably joining the Big Ten at some point. It's just a matter of time. And it's not going to happen right now. But either way, guys, that is the current update. The recent rumors about possibly maybe a group of five super conference between the best group of five teams. There are some big issues with that, though, uh, in terms of the buyout situation. Would they be able to work around that? Would they be able to get enough teams together in each of the leagues to mitigate the buyout. That's kind of the ACC's problem right now. Can they get enough teams to do it if they can't? Because I have heard rumors that the Mountain West buyout is $34 million. That's just not going to happen. And the only thing the Mountain West would be doing at this point would be adding teams like a Washington State or Oregon State if, if the buyout really is uh, that expensive, you would figure the Mountain West would be safe and secure, and it really wouldn't be a merger. It would be the Mountain West adding two or three schools, and then Stanford becomes independent, Cal becomes the wild card. They either join the Mountain West or they become independent, or I don't know what happens with them. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that is always in the description.